Shalom Chavri, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live, and we're back up to the updates. It seems like hour after hour after hour, nearly. I'll have to step out of the newsroom here for just a little bit this morning, but I wanted to bring this video to you this morning. It just came out. Uh, this is Russia moving ICBMs uh, inside of their own country there, and they are actually working more and more towards the eastern part of the uh, country there. What you're seeing here, though, are pontoon bridges here that are going to be placed out on the uh, Yaga River. Uh, and it's not, of course, right up against uh, Europe as of yet, but they're certainly moving the ICBMs very close to the, uh, to the border of um, uh, Eastern Europe. And uh, whether or not this is an actual drill that Russia is doing, or not, I, I cannot say, but uh, from the looks of it and the way they're going about this right now, it looks like Russia not just doing a drill, but Russia is actually setting up their ICBMs uh, in different places in the forest in order to hide this from, uh, from the uh, NATO's eyes. But yet at the same time, with them posting this video here showing the ICBMs and how they can pretty much go anywhere. Um, they're letting the world know that they're preparing in the event that NATO does not back off. Uh, so it's very concerning, no doubt. Uh, President Putin has been known for doing this types of actions here and then to allowing it to go out to a public view to try to get the rest of the world involved in informing uh, the governments uh, that they mean business, that you know you can only beat on them so long before you get a reaction. And maybe this is actually what the elites want in America. Maybe this is the plan to the global elite, is why they have moved so much of their money and they've moved in uh, different parts of the world. Some have moved to South America, some have moved uh, even to, uh, to the east, be it in the Middle East, not the Middle East where we think of, but like Qatar or Qatar as they call it. Uh, places like that. We know that uh, from what I heard recently, the Hillary Clinton, that her family moved uh, like over a billion dollars into banks in this region. There are many that have moved down into South America, including a place that was done for Miss Merkel, the Chancellor of Germany, uh, also has done that. So is it that they want to bring down certain parts of the world here intentionally and they know it's going to happen and, well, bankrupt the world through your economic uh, war games at the uh, as uh, uh, the Roman military has been doing and then allow the Americans just to suffer the consequences. Uh, it's very concerning to me. It, it concerns me for the safety of the American people who have been so kind to the rest of the world, but it's the American government of the Obama administration, especially in that of the Bush administration, that has wreaked havoc on the world that has caused uh, our current situation in a standoff with Russia. That's what concerns me, and it concerns me for the safety of the American people. I know the Russians know that the American people does not equal to the American government, but unfortunately, someone put them in there, and no doubt, as we have been hearing more and more recently through rigged elections, is how the people that have made it into power, maybe we wouldn't be here today if things had been done a little different. At any rate, uh, just for your information so you can see what is actually going on. Again, it's very concerning uh, to say the very least to see this Russia moving ICBMs into place, uh, taking with them their pontoon bridges where they're able to cross and move closer and closer to Europe itself within striking distance uh, with all types of portable nuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.